I have a GE washing machine with smart dispense and had the service technician out because the detergent tank showed empty even though it had detergent in it. The technician said that the tank gets clogged and it has now happened again. What can I do? Can you guesstimate how old your GE is? And just to clarify, what's the exact model? GTW860 SBJ1MC and it is less than 2 years old. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Yes. Anything else we should know to help you best? No, I don't think so. Hello, my name is O. The instruction for cleaning the tank out, detergent tank clean out, GTW750 and GTW755 models only. Note, all clothes should be removed from the washer prior to cleaning out the detergent tank. To empty out the tank and remove any remaining detergent from the reservoir, 1. Press and hold both the detergent dispense and select buttons for 3 seconds. 2. The empty out routine will begin with the contents of tank, mixed with water, being dispensed into the basket and consequently drained from the machine at the same time. 3. The empty out routine will continue for approximately 15 minutes unless it is paused by the pressing of the start button. If tank is initially full, routine may need to be run a second time to empty detergent tank. Note, optionally, hot water can be added to the tank to aid in flushing out the system of any residual detergent prior to starting or during the cleanout routine. Unfortunately this doesn't help me as I do not have either of the models stated in the answer. I have a GTW860 model as detailed in my question. I hope that there is a similar set of instructions for my model. Thank you. GTW860 Detergent Tank Cleaning 1 Enter Special Features Mode See to enter Special Features section above. 2. Remove all articles from the washer basket. 3. Press the Extra Rinse button. The My Cycle settings and lights will go out. The start button light will blink. The corresponding tank levels lights will show the current tank level. 4. Press the start button. The tank will dispense for the minutes shown in the display to empty the selected tank. The tank levels lights will cycle up and down during the flush operation. Once finished, the tank levels should indicate an empty tank with lowest level light remaining on and the start button light will flash. You can, repeatedly, refill the tank with water and press the start button to rinse out the tank as needed. Note, if you suspect that the dispenser is plugged, add lemon juice to make the water slightly acidic. 5. Press the power button to exit, when the tank is empty. This function will automatically exit if neither button is pressed for 2 hours. Note, bulk tank flush is recommended if you, 1, change detergent or softener brands 2, accidentally add softener to the detergent tank or vice versa 3, put powdered detergent in the detergent tank 4, put non-concentrated fabric softener in the 10 softener tank. Okay well it looks like the instructions are for the correct model but point number 1 says enter special features mode. See to enter special features section above. The section above was not included so I still need the process to enter the special features section. Thank you. Here is how you enter that mode. Thank you for those instructions. I tried following the instruction several times but the machine does not go into the special features mode. 
I tried cycling the power button and also disconnecting the unit from the electricity and allowing it to reset but nothing makes any difference. I tried both the combination of the two detergent buttons and the combination of the two softener buttons without success. What's next? So you have powered on the unit with the power button, pressed and held the detergent tank button and the detergent cup amount in the same time for 3 seconds and nothing has happened? The my cycle and the extra rinse lights did not flash to show you was in the special features mode. You only have one minute to move to the next step of pressing the extra rinse button and seeing the my cycle setting and lights go out. That is when you press the start button please try one more time as this is a confusing program to go through. GE should have made it simpler. I have followed those instructions exactly. Power on. Hold detergent tank button and the detergent cup button simultaneously for at least 3 seconds but nothing happens. I do not know why it is not working. It is hard to say when I am not in front of the machine. I think you may have to call GE for a service call. It sound like to me something else is wrong. This does help me much. You have just copied pages from user manuals and in the end said that I will need to call GE. I do not see that I can score this answer as very useful. Should I try another expert? I gave you the info from the text sheet. If it was in the owner's manual I do not know. It appears that something is wrong. Whether you are missing a step or the control is broken I cannot say from here. I cannot put my hands on your machine. Another tech will have the same info available from GE just as I. His or hers will not read any different. I am sorry that it will not operate for you. That is why I said you should call GE. So someone could come out and find out if the control is having a problem or not. I will release your request, but, there is not different answer, because it is the same model number that all the other techs will have to work with. Best of luck to you. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.